Bill, Ali Muhammad Brown is one of the suspects in the murder of Brendan Tevlin. He's actually the person who police say pulled the trigger. I'm at the intersection of Walker Road and Northfield Avenue. This looks like your typical New Jersey intersection, but on Wednesday, June 25th, this was the hunting ground for Ali Muhammad Brown, who allegedly shot Brendan Tevlin 10 times. Brendan Tevlin was just waiting at the traffic light. He had texted his mother, telling her he was on his way home. He was then followed by a car with three suspects that police arrested, and Ali Muhammad Brown was one of them. Allegedly, he got out of the car, shot Brendan Tevlin, pushed Brendan Tevlin's body to the passenger side, and drove that car to an apartment complex just up the road on Northfield Avenue. Right now, I'm standing in the parking lot where 19-year-old Brendan Tevlin's bullet-riddled body was found. According to police, his body was found in the passenger seat of his grandfather's SUV that was abandoned here at this apartment complex where one of the suspects lived. I looked into this further to find out who is this Ali Mohammed Brown. He was labeled as armed and dangerous in Seattle because he had allegedly killed two men on June 1st. The scene of that murder was described as having an exorbitant amount of blood. Ali Mohammed Brown somehow went from that murder to New Jersey. Four days later, he allegedly committed robbery and an attempted carjacking, police say, in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. This guy was incredibly dangerous. He was also a registered sex offender. You can go onto a website and see where sex offenders live. How, how did he just disappear from the grid? If you go ahead and enter your zip code into the sex offender registry, uh, your map will light up. You'd be shocked at how many sex offenders you live right in the middle of. They're everywhere. It begs the question, what, what good is a registry? If somebody is, is potentially so dangerous that they're going to be a threat to other people, putting them on a list doesn't do any good. Maybe it's time to start keeping some of these thugs behind bars a lot longer. We've covered the alleged snake.